we just drop down through the ground in the middle of some mad field and drop down some shaft. I'm up to my knees now. This is actually a little bit scary. This is mad. Join me in this episode of Jake's Journey, mate, where I head hundreds of meters into the side of a mountain in the English Lake District on a whim to discover this thousand year old copper and lead mine. <laughs> Good evening gang, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. I'm currently in the Lake District. Now, the Lake District is where I've been based for the last sort of two weeks uh, as I have returned back from Scotland, out of the micro camper and back into Bow. But now I'm back in the Lake District, I've been cutting around, I've been doing some training, some practice for basically a long distance hike that I've got coming up uh, in the next sort of like five weeks. So, what I'm gonna do is hit the road and today, I'm going to check out, I basically zoomed in on Google Maps. No, no, one second, stop. Let's hit the road and let's talk to you as we're going because we're burning daylight. No, he's an idiot. He's not even turned it into, it, I, there's always these procedures of turning it back from living house mode, back into, into van driving around, doing things mode. That needs emptying. The, the, the first things first, obviously make sure all the, oh my God, I was about to set off. I've still got all my washing up on the side as well. Just ignore me. I'm just been I'm just been trying to be too proactive and I'm buggering everything up. Right, hoover these. Bosh. I'm gonna leave the back ones because CBA. Right, so engine's running, she's warming up, windscreen's clear, good to go. Need to put the washing up away. Okay, right, we'll talk on the road, but what I'm saying really is when I was uh, sort of rooting around on Google Maps, trying to find mountains to climb, there's training for this uh, for this hike that I'm going on. I stumbled across an old mine shaft. Now, to me, I think that's interesting. When I was younger, my granddad uh, he used to do a lot of pot potholing and stuff like that, and he took me to a few places where we did a bit of potholing and stuff like that, and I did it in the army as well of part of like adventurous training and I just thought this is mint that's a bit of me uh, and I've always just had a bit of a bit of an interest in it uh, since my granddad uh, showed me about it and told me about it since I was a kid so yeah um, I basically found this little cave which I say little cave it goes back like a couple hundred meters apparently and it's an old like mine shaft where like workers used to go down and it's literally just on the side of some fell I'm gonna plug it into my map go and pull the, the van up somewhere leave it in a secure location, tab out, go and see what it's saying and, and see what this what this gaff's saying. Now, I'm concerned because the amount of rain that we've had, that it's gonna be extremely wet in there. And I didn't bring my wellies because they're still on vacation because of what the mice did to them. But you know, you win some, you lose some. Anyway, I'm gonna get this pish sorted out and then let's get gone, hit the road and get moving. Okie dokie, let's get, oh no, he's messed it up already look at that I'm terrible I'm terrible putting it back into car mode always leave something open then something falls out glass everywhere done in end of the world jobby right let's give this a wide berth god there's some there's some sticks and that down it must have been a i don't know if i'm gonna make it around here i might have to go back on myself Whoa, that rock's come away there at the side of the cliff. It's a good job that I don't come down into the road because I'll be blocked in. I'll be done in. We're off to Gold Scope Mine and it kind of looks like a sort of single track in. Uh, pretty crazy and I'm like super excited to go and check it out basically. Go at RPM through the roof. It's immense. Now, I've seen on the Google stuff people saying, yo, wear good, uh, wear good waterproof footwear. My Vivo's a Gore-Tex, so I'll be all right with them on. And you know what, if I get wet feet, I'll just come back to the van and sort myself out. But I'm gonna send my location to a few people that are local, just to let them know that I'm going down there, because it is an old mine. And uh, yeah, I don't wanna never be seen again. Because you know, if something collapses, I'm done. Uh, and that'll be the end of Jake's journey, mate. So if anyone finds the footage of me down there, and they recover the GoPro. So just get my brother to edit this together and chuck it on the channel because it might be my last ever video. <laughs> oh, look at them having a picnic. Go on. Beep, 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 beep. Come on.
Come on, lads, get out the middle of the fucking road. Come on, doesn't take much. Legends. All right, I ain't gonna fit through there. Cheers, boys. Fuck it out. They were moody, fuckers. <laughs> I went for swimming there yesterday. Good to go. Fresh as a daisy. Not had a shower in two weeks, but I've been in a been in a lake for a quick scrub. Who needs a shower? I feel like Doctor Who, man. I've like a mad mission. And it's a 60 power! <laughs> there is none! All 130 brake horsepower pulling three and a half tons of metric weight. No, it's not metric weight, is it? Tons. Flipping Imperial and that. Is it? I don't even know. Give her. Go on, chuck it in the comments. No, isn't a ton of thousand kilograms? I don't know. He's flying, man. He sticks to the residual speed of 30 miles an hour. Don't run any locals over that are walking the two hours. Sorry, sweetheart. Do you? Oh, daffodils. For days. Yeah, buddy. Oh, I'm Blossom. Mate, I literally drove down this road the other day and they weren't there. That tree's got Blossom all over it and there's daffodils coming out this little hamlet's arse. Right, I've just about parked and I'm this far away. I don't know how far it is, but there, I'm the blue dot and it, it's the red dot. So I've got to walk down, cross over that bridge, walk down to a church, swing a left, and then just bosh it up an hill, and I'm good to go. I'm gonna let the uh, batteries charge for a little bit longer. The, uh, the van batteries, that is, well, the house batteries. But yeah, bish bash bosh, also I put this like wiring, um, not wire, it's like a piece of comms cord above there, just so I can like dry stuff out on there now. So I've got a little drying line, how cool is that? But yeah. So I've got on this. This is a. Uh... It's hot. Oh! oh. Damn, that's hot, son. Come on. I'm kind of just that map route that I showed you then. I'm kind of just going with the flow and I'll hike up there in and out of it, and I don't really know much about it. And actually, I didn't tell anyone where I was because I've got like, no signal anyway. But I'll be uh, super safe and super on it and that. But yeah, you should always tell people where you are. I've got SOS on my phone anyway. So hopefully that works. Doubt it. Worth a try. I should have signal anyway when I get up into the fells. So when I get up into the fells, I'll just I'll text some people and uh, let them know. If I don't text you back in like three hours, send help. <laughs> I'm going to take some extra warm layers, so like, I'm going to wear this uh, synthetic jacket, but I'm going to take my down jacket as well, and my uh, gilet. One, in case I decide to go for a swim, and two, if anything does happen down there, it's better to be prepared. I've got enough gear here that I'd be able to survive, you know, a bit of time uh, in case it took a while for people to get to me, you know, so, bish bash bosh. And we're off. Oh, mate. Look at them. And that one. Beautiful. That wind's cutting through a little bit more than I thought, to be honest. Put my hood up, but I'm, I'm ready to go. I've got my I've got my head torch and my pointer light everything up torch. I've got my phone, there's a GPS or whatever. I've got my bag on my back and I'm raring. very wet oh my god like people said there's literally a stream coming out of this 
That's crazy. This is so cool. It's literally just hidden up here in the hills and there's all this slag that they've thrown out and it's literally just perfect walking height. Now I'm gonna put my woolly hat when I get on in there just to protect me from bashing it on anything. I should really have a helmet on, but I haven't got one with me. So yeah, be all right. Just keep your wits about you, innit? No, no, don't start playing silly buggers. This place is actually mental. I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna put some, some extra gear on now just to sort of protect myself because it's quite wet. Yeah, it's pretty wet and wild. I don't know how echoey it is because it sounds like even, even not on the camera, I can hear my voice echoing. But I'm gonna chuck these waterproof pants on and just tuck them over my, uh, over my boots and that should give me like uh, a sort of, a sort of gaiter. I started watching Morbius last night which is about some dude who basically turns himself into a bat and he's like cutting around in, in these mad caves. He's basically a, a, a Batman ripoff, but he's actually got powers and that. So yeah, hopefully I don't turn into a fruit bat. Actually no, he was a vampire bat, wasn't he? But no, in my luck, I'll end up being a fruit bat. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Right. That's them, man. That's like Gore-Tex Pro. It's gonna keep me dry and, and warm. And it's just got like harder layers on like the shoulders and elbows. So if I scratch them on the rocks in here, it doesn't rip apart. Well, in practice anyway. Oh my God, it looks so ominous. <laughs> Look at this. <sighs> Shit, son. I'm actually really excited. I'm a bit scared, but I'm excited. What? What? On earth? Oh, well, come on, because I'm actually really excited now. Let's get in there. Uh, I'm all gadgeted. Oh, actually, I'm not gadgeted up. I need to put my head torch on. <laughs> that might help, wouldn't it? Right, let's put you there. For a Just chill. Just chill. It's all right. Right. Head torch. Bosh. Oh, this is mad. I actually can't believe we're doing this, mate. Oh my god. Oh, what percentage is that? Turn it down a bit, I think. Last a bit longer. And it won't blind me as much. Oh my god. This is mad. It's peeing down in here. I hope the GoPro's alright. Should be sound. Oh my god. This is mad. Look back there. Oh my God. <laughs> it's so deep. Honestly, look. Check this out. Jesus. Look how far back it goes. What the hell? Oh my God. Boy, this is mental. <laughs> Jeez. This is mad. The echo. Woo. You can just about see the final light back there. Oh my god. Oh, it's really wet right under there. Shit, look. This is mad. It's all coming from up there. This is so eerie. It's, it's drier down this bit. Look at that. I bet there's some mad spiders in there. Oh, it's just creep fest. It's pure. It's welding. I've got to keep my wits about me. I should really have a hand on that. Keep going. Oh my god. This is fucking hell. It's getting lower. It's getting a lot lower, guys. Just using my hand torch to see forward. Oh, it's well long. I'm actually like a good hundred meters in now. There's like the odd wooden slat down here. Look, it's got a metal loop through it when they must have attached the rails. 
I don't even know what the audio is doing because it just sounds crazy. This is madness. Oh my god. Hello? There's another one, another one of these wooden things that are oh, loads of them now. One, two, three, four. This is so crazy. See that there? Turn this light off. See this? This discoloration of the rock. That could indeed be sulfur from the, the explosions, maybe. I don't know how it goes. I don't know if this carries on into a bigger chamber or it just keeps going on like this. I'm a good like 150 meters in here now. I can hear water dripping further down that way now rather than behind me though. So, there might be enough for opening. Steel railing, steel track. Right, 
That stuff freaks me out, so I'm going to be super careful now. Not to try and touch anything. Oh my god. This is crazy. That goes, that goes right up. Super high. Oh my god. I'm going to try and squeeze through here. I don't know. So if you look up there, there's a rope now. Look at that rope there. Oh my god. That heads up. Probably all the way to a top. To like a manhole cover or something. I've dropped down into these before where we've come down, we've come down shoots like these. And uh, yeah, they basically lead you up to the surface like a manhole cover or another opening like the one we came into. Cool. You can see here, look, it's just completely, there's like loads of rubble there. And that's all just held in place by these wooden planks. This is creep. And then as you can see down here, this is where it drops away. I can't go any further than this, because I'm just looking at that now and that water's really deep. That's gonna make me super drenched. And I don't really know what's around that corner, it might be really cool. But, oh, I don't know, it's really low. And there's a lot of water in there. I'm gonna try and maneuver around it and see if I can try and see around that corner. But it looks like there's been a, a collapse in the tunnel there. So that doesn't, you can see that, can't you? See where the rubble's into the water. I don't like the look of that, to be honest, personally. So I might have a little scoot round and see what I can see, but I don't know, man, that doesn't seem, it don't seem like you want to get trapped down there. I'm like a good 200 meters in here now, probably longer. Look at the blue, that's like, Something's crawling on my leg. Can't really see around there. Let me dump my bag off and see if I can try and see around this corner. There is a little bit of rock fall, but it also looks like it opens up into a crevasse, into a big cave. So I'm going to check it out. Wow. My boots needed a wash anyway. I'm going to take my day sack with me. I'm not going to separate myself from my provisions just in case there's a problem. Come on. I've got to be careful because the last thing that I want to do. Oh. The last thing I want to do under here is uh, be complacent with that foot position and I fall down through into an extension of one of these caves. And that is not good. Oh. 
Oh my god. What the hell? There's like loads of these women structures. Look at the other thing up. Oh my god, there's a platform up there. There's an actual platform up there. What the hell? There's another side tunnel. Oh my god, that's a real fine scramble down there. That's literally like just crawling through. I can't do that without a dry suit or a helmet and stuff. And then the same again down there. Oh, another one down there. I'm not doing that solo, that's too sketchy. Oh my God, these platforms. Look, look up there, can you see that? It's like loads of probably mold on the underside of these. And then there's, it looks, it's blue. It looks like copper sulfide. It's not sulfide, uh, what is it? Copper oxide's green. So that's copper sulfate by the looks of it. If you see up there, see that blue shine back to me? I think that's copper sulfate. Potentially. I don't know, you can see it there again as well on the walls. There's no like, uh, I can't see any stalactites or anything. This is crazy. Physical hell. Look at that. This is where it's been like, churned out by like some sort of digger style thing. This is crazy. This is actually where I think they probably would have come down from the top as another route in here. I don't know, there's a few questionable shelves up there. I don't know if, uh, I don't know if any of the cavers use it as like a, a route in or route out, but I don't know because those beams don't look entirely safe. Oh, and there's another, there's another room up there as well. What it looks like behind those, behind those bits. But it's actually really peaceful in here. Super peaceful. This is actually crazy. I've never seen anything quite like it. I've done caving before in the army. I did a few bits when I was doing like my little adventurous training packets when I was in Harrogate. And my phase one training. And we were creeping down through the little gaps. Oh, like this one I showed you down here. Stuff actually are a lot tighter than this guy. Let's come down here. Where it was like full of water and I just remember. We got to one and he said we're going under there. And it was just a river that was up to our waist underground like this. And uh, you went, see where the water's disappearing? And we were like, well, yeah, this, this river just comes to a dead end. And uh, he went, right, yeah, we're going down and under that. And it was basically like one of those plungers where you'd go down the, into the first instructor went through and it was like a, I think it was like a two meter push down. He said, right, just feel for the side. It's, it's oval inside. Just push yourself through and mate, whoever it was will grab you at the other side. And it was crazy because you were just getting pushed through this water, dripping down underwater. Bearing in mind it's like that, we come down something like what I just showed you up there. Like up that. We just drop down through the ground in the, mad, in the middle of some mad field and drop down some shaft like that. And he was like, right, we're scurrying around in the water. There was actually a cave system that was about double the height of this and double the width. And it was like a, a river that was underwater, but yeah. Anyway, I'm just, I'm just rambling now, but it was cool. And I was just like, hell no, it looks sketchy. But he just pushed us down and under. And that's why it's adventurous training. But yeah, we were going through smaller stuff than this as well. Just up to our tips in it. And scrambling through it. And it does give you a little bit more of a head for, head for worry and a head for height. This is mad. This water's minging. Shaft with the rope going up it. I'm not doing that. Oh. Just 
time. seen a few candles. Now, option one is for some creepy sacrilegious flipping psycho sacrifice stuff. Or option two, they've just been left down here just in case someone's not got a light so they can find their way back or whatever, I don't know. But if they haven't got a head torch, they've probably not got a light either. I actually can't believe that just happened. That's a bit, that's a bit surreal, that is. Hello. <laughs> you, you lot think you're getting fed or what? Running over to see what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. And we're back at the boudoir. Brilliant. What, what, <laughs> what an adventure. That was class, man. I really enjoyed that. I've just spent the last 45 minutes sat in that church up there, doing my thing. So, yeah, that was really cool. Really, uh, really enjoyed that. I'm gonna get inside, it's cold. I've got very soggy feet, so I'm gonna get these boots off. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna have to be in front of the diesel eater tonight. Bosh. I just wanna to say to everyone, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for joining me on that adventure. It's been awesome, it's been a blast and uh, I hope you enjoyed that, cause I sure did. Yeah, a bit of adrenaline, bit of uh, going down some weird old mine shafts. But yeah, that was class. Um, yeah, thank you, thanks for watching. And uh, if you haven't already, uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification if you want to know as soon as I upload another video. And I'm trying to hit 10k on Instagram. So if you can go over there to Instagram, I'll leave that down below as well. Uh, and yeah, try and hit me up on that because I'd really like that. That'd be cool. Awesome. Thank you very much and peace out. One love, gang. See you next week. Bosh.